The main story today is tracking Hurricane Aaron. If you went to bed last night, Hurricane Aaron was just a category one hurricane and now you're waking up to an absolute monster. Look at this category four hurricane moving from east to west there in the Caribbean, north of the Leeward Islands, northeast of Puerto Rico. Look at the visible satellite. That is a monster of a hurricane behind me. Extremely impressive, rapid intensification that she underwent last night. Now a category four hurricane. Oh my goodness, look at that. An update just as I came on air here. Now with maximum sustained winds of 145 miles per hour with frequent when gusts to 150 miles per hour and pressure down to 935 millibars less than 25 hours less than 24 hours ago she was sitting at 996 millibars that is extremely impressive there over 60 millibars in less than 24 hours Wow, so Hurricane Aaron now a high end category four hurricane would not be shocked to see her become a category five hurricane if she continues to rapidly intensify like this. She's moving over warm water, very low shear right now. That is all the perfect setup for a hurricane to rapidly intensify there in the warm waters of the Caribbean. The good news for Hurricane Aaron, despite her being a very, very strong hurricane right now, she's expected to stay away from any big land masses, staying over the eastern portion of the North Atlantic here, staying away from eastern United States, as well as staying away from Bermuda, essentially splitting the uprights, right? Staying down this channel that avoids major impacts to any large land masses. So that's the good news there. Could see some of the outer bands affect uh, the outer banks or our area, maybe as we go into the later next week, but no direct impact expected at all.